Meme Rurambo Mwifima runs a tough seven-day work schedule. She also owns a shabin in Shandubala Katutura. Her mornings start with her giving orders to her five employees who help her operate the kitchen, bar and car wash. Good morning, girls. How's the morning? It's very fine. So you are busy? Yes. Okay, I am on my way to the funeral, ne? Yeah. But uh, Joyce was supposed to be here, but she said she's not feeling well this morning. Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right. Why is the tables like this? They are like this because when you pulled out the cup, we didn't get time to put them in order. Despite running her shabin, Memero Rambo, aged 52, still needs a full-time job. Employed at NHE, where she started off as a cleaner, earning only $45 a week. Oh, I'm very tight, I'm very tight. I need to start with my work after funeral. 26 years of full-time employment and her monthly income is still insufficient. Her shabin business fills that financial void. Really, it is a difficult business, but I don't have really otherwise. I must try my best. It was 1997, I remember well. It was the year one of my sister passed away. So, amongst my brothers and sister, I was the only breadwinner since birth. We were born nine. Today we are only two. As a single mother, she has raised her four daughters herself and only Ndapanda, her youngest, still lives with her. You see, it was very, very difficult, but I could not keep them home while I'm having, while I'm running a shabin. All of them, I put them in the hostel. The house has become too busy and the environment has become for me also so difficult. I could not keep all my girls among customers visiting the bar and so on. Despite her busy schedule as a businesswoman, her daughters are still her first priority. Pickups and drop-offs occupy most of Memero Rambo's lunch hour. Hey, Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Why are you late today? I'm sorry, I'm asking for apology. Okay, it's fine. Okay. Because of the high level of competitiveness of Shabin's predominantly run by men in the area, Rurambo first stops at home to attend to her business, her employees, and most importantly, her customers. Good How are you? Are you guys enjoying yourself? For the rest of this afternoon? Yes. Yes. Okay. Things around her Shabin are not always as she wants them to be, often with dire consequences for her employees. Why are you not here? Are you not working? And why are you outside? Why are these crates are packed here now? You must put it up there. Every now and then, she has to reprimand them. I told you, Susanna, always keep these books not on top of this. All these books don't belong here. With home just a stone throw away, she hopes to change into something more comfortable. After many hours of work, her duties just never end. Oh, I'm very tight. Very, very tight in this house, which are so dirty also. Dapanda! Yeah. I have homework. I am very tight. Can you please switch on the TV so that I can watch a little bit? Why? But you... Why can't you reach the remote? pushes her children to study hard to create the opportunities and life that she never had. You promised me that you 
promised to do some few works today. But I was tired. Yeah, I do summaries every day. But thanks to my father and family. After spending some time in her house, she walks over to the car wash to make sure that the customers' cars are washed with care. Many years have passed and Rugambo has managed in her own way. However, conflicts, especially those from customers, are what she describes as the worst. Meme cannot handle those fighting, you know. <laughs> The young boys, really, if the fight is coming up, so they, they need to help me. I cannot, I cannot be alone. I thank God today. People, they don't believe as I am right now. But I came out, at, out uh, from a, a very poor family. And really, I have worked for myself to become a better woman as I am today. <laughs>